today's video, I'm going to be showing you the high heel shoes I forgot existed. In these boxes here, you have, or we have, three pairs of high heels that I had that I forgot I even owned. Can you believe that I forgot I owned some high heels? Hello everybody, I'm Gabrielle and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's all about pantyhose, high heels, mini dresses, mini skirts, and just me chatting to you about all those things. Already hit subscribe because I wouldn't want you to miss out on a lovely, wonderful, amazing, spectacular video related to one of those things. To start off with a little story, I literally opened my mouth too wide. <laughs> the weekend just gone on Friday night, yes, Friday night, 5 p.m. Friday night, I had wisdom tooth surgery. <laughs> you know the top wisdom tooth? Easy to get out, right? Really easy. I've had this one out. On Friday, I had this one out. But at the same time as having my top wisdom tooth out, I also had my bottom wisdom tooth out. And if you know anything about bottom wisdom teeth, they're a faff. My bottom wisdom tooth on this side was not growing up, it was growing completely on its side, growing in, and it wasn't completely in the gum. Not only was it impacting the other teeth, it was half in, half out the gum. So it was getting like bacteria in it every day that I couldn't brush. It was a nightmare. Anyway, I had the tooth out, ooh, ow, yes, on Friday. An hour and a half, two hours of drilling, pulling, oh, it's, thinking about it now just makes me, so it's only three days post-surgery right now, and I keep forgetting not to open my mouth too wide, because this side of my face is very sore, and still a bit golf balling. Oh yes, high heels. I've been doing a huge wardrobe clear out, because, changed a few things too, um, but yeah, I've been doing a huge wardrobe clear out and I forgot that these side heels in these boxes existed. existed. They've been sat in these boxes. These boxes are covered in dust. I'm going to try them on today. We're going to pop them on with my little cute black dress and my beautiful nylon pantyhose. Shoes number one. What are they going to be? I don't know. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, I really need to get rid of these shoes. They're so worn. These cannot be worn in public. So worn. What have I done in these shoes to make them this bad? Close up to the camera. What has happened? <laughs> in these shoes? I'm bemused at why they look so bad. Maybe Victoria and I did some sort of rolling around in mud? I don't know. These are so old, these shoes. I think I bought these when I was 19, 18. Everyone looks at the screen now. Gabrielle, that's your age now, right? Try adding another 10 years. And you wouldn't even be there. <laughs> I like a matured wine. Better with age. Do love these shoes though. Look how nice they are on. I, I think I used to dance in these shoes as well, although I know that they've got like ropes on them, like little little tiny mini ropes. That's what those are across the feet. Look at those. Um, let's, let's stand up quickly, and my head might go up short, but let's stand up. Do you know what? Even though they're so old, 10 years old, so comfortable still. What has happened to these shoes? I don't know, but they look pretty battered and bruised. They look like my mouth feels. <laughs> like it's been drilled for two hours. Someone has been drilling these shoes and making them look worse for two hours. Give us a thumbs up right now if you like them. If you like the worn look, give us a thumbs up right now. Um, that was your first pair of heels, reminiscing about those. I, I keep forgetting that my mouth is so sore and doing really big jaw movements, you know what I mean? And then I'm like, oh yeah, my mouth's really sore, I can't do that. So if you see me make a big jaw action, 
No, Gabrielle, stop shouting. This has got so much dust on it. It's crazy how much dust comes, right? Remember these shoes? Oh, I got these shoes when I lived in the countryside, in the middle of nowhere. Literally, the house that I used to live in was down a big dirt track. Lasted a few, well, not a few months, probably lasted nearly a year. And I was like, I'm over this. I'm over. The electricity used to go out because of random things. Once my landlord said to me, the electricity has gone out tonight, Gabrielle, because a shire horse, a shire horse rubbed itself up against the little pylon thing, where, you know, where all the electric things, uh, something went wrong and a horse rubbed itself up against it and basically the electricity went off all night. I do love the look of these shoes, but wow, it takes a long, long, long time to get them on. Spend one minute in the shoes, if that, took about five minutes to get them on. Let's just have a look at them a little bit longer. They've got a strap that goes all the way up the ankle. They've got a hard back to them. They've got a triangle toe. Don't know if you can see that. Do you like triangle toe shoes? Done it again, open the jaw too wide. My toes are kind of slipping forwards and the triangle isn't protective enough for my feet. Like down here, these little toes are on the floor and only my big toe is protected by the triangle. Right? They look good though, don't they? They look fabulous in pictures. And they are a very soft, what's the word? They're just very soft. They're not velvet. They feel a bit velvety, but they're very soft and lovely to touch. And they're in this maroon colour. Anyhow. That's your second pair of shoes. The wisdom tooth now is throbbing, or the cavity of the wisdom tooth is throbbing. That's the second pair of shoes. If you like them, give them a huge thumbs up. If you don't, you've still got one pair of shoes remaining. Then a final pair of shoes. It says pretty little thing on the box, but it's not a pretty little thing. It is. I genuinely, until about half an hour ago, forgot these shoes existed. They are brand, let me show you how new they are. Have they ever even been worn outside? No. A lovely, a lovely, from Manchester, me, a lovely Pantyhose Studios fan bought these for me. And I forgot they existed. They need stretching in. That's why I don't wear them or didn't wear them so much because only maker made a bad batch of these and actually complained to them and they apologised but what, what's that apology going to do? Um, yeah, I actually complained because they're very small they do need stretching in they might maybe, maybe, maybe melt down with a hairdryer I don't know and fit me better but my big toe kind of comes out the end so it's not that easy to wear them let's stand up and try not to break my ankle Bounce. Yeah, I remember now why I don't wear these a lot or oh, they went in a box because super high and this foot especially, see the arch of my foot is popping above the shoe so it kind of feels like I'm going to break my foot. It feels like I'm in a pleaser heel but I'm just in a normal pair of heels. That's why these have obviously been put away. But I do love them, look how amazing they are. They're black and then goes down to the leopard print. That heel is gorgeous, it's a super high stiletto. Love, love, love the look of them. Just very disappointed by how tight my foot is in there. Which were your favorite high heels today? Leave me a comment down below and tell me, are you a super worn shoe lover? Are you a brand new shoe lover? Or are you an open toe shoe lover? Tell me down below in the comment section. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and join me very, very soon in a couple of days for another video. Also, I have an onlyfans.com forward slash Gabrielle Taylor. And I currently have a sale on there. So make sure you go over and check out my onlyfans.com. And this weekend, I will be doing requests. I might even do a live, but 
I'll keep you updated. I might do a live on Saturday night. What do you think? Like a live where you can literally tune in and I am live at the same time as you are breathing. <laughs> I can't open the mouth too wide. See you all soon. Bye!